Hey guys, what's up? Nico here and today in this video I tested an Anycubic Cobra Go. It's right here to my left. Uh, you can see it's off camera. But is this the end of the Ender 3? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, what's up? Nico again here and right next to me here is an Anycubic Cobra Go. The newest 3D printer by Anycubic. Now this is supposedly going to be replacing um, and doing better than the Ender 3. So Anycubic had sent me a model um, that is going to be tested. And so I'm testing it right now and we're going to go through it. I'm going to let you guys what I think. So just a little bit of information about the Anycubic Cobra Go. It is the newest machine from Anycubic. It is just like the Ender 3 with a build plate and a build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. It has this really, really nice LCD display. And it even has this nice print resume function in case of a power outage. It also has this magnetic textured sheet that magnetized onto the build plate that allows you to just pop your prints off when they're done. All right, so the first print of this um, Anycubic Cobra Go is done. I do love this build plate that just pops right off. It's very similar to the ones I have on my CR10 S4s over there. Anyway, so this print came out absolutely flawlessly. I mean, this is nice, you guys. So now we're gonna test a uh, different filament and we're gonna be testing different models. So we're gonna load another one. So now we're gonna be loading this Dragon Whelp. Um, it's from Creature Crate and we're gonna be loading it with this Amolin Shiny Silk Blend. It is the orange and uh, red blend perfect for the dragons so we're going to load that up and we're going to check it how it goes it says nine almost 10 hours so i'm just going to print this overnight and see how this thing goes all right so the dragon whelp looks like it's going to be printing really nicely uh the first layer came down really well um it's going to take another 10 hours for this to print because it is going to be printing in a layer height and a nozzle far smaller than what I'm used to. So we'll wait for this tomorrow morning. And here it is you guys. Um, yes, there's a lot of stringing on there, but that's retraction settings. Now, if we look at the actual print itself, it came out really nice. Got a little bit of um, over extrusion is what it looks like over there. But I think that's because of my settings. I don't think that's the machine at all. So let's pop this off. I love this build plate. It's so nice. All right, there you go. Let's see if we can pop the back off here. Oh, there we go. Now just get some sort of heat gun or a blow dryer or a lighter <laughs> to blow that off. All right, so now that we've tested the Dragon, what I want to do now is I want to throw another file on there, another model, and we're going to go with the Flexi Stormtrooper. I want to see the settings for um, I want to see if it really is my settings, um, and it's not the, I know it's not the model. I'm pretty sure it's my settings, um, and I know it's not the machine because it printed the owl really nicely. So, um, we're going to test it out on the Flexi Stormtrooper, and we're going to see. All right, so after eight and a half hours, it's finally done, and it does not look good. So let me just pop this guy off the plate, and it comes off quite easily. Now, there's a lot of layer lines on this. I mean, it just, it did not print well. Um, it, it functions fine. Look, there's a little bit from the uh, the Dragon Welt back there. Um, I don't know if this is my settings, but I'm going to now buy some 0.6 nozzles and um, put this on with my original settings for um, when I have it. So, second print, not good. So, actually, the back part right here looks looks fine. There's a little bit of um, build up back there. But the sides, man, it just does not look good as com you know compared to the the dragon. Now there's no more um, stringing, but there's a lot of just it just it just didn't print look it just didn't print well. So I'm gonna load another print with a bigger nozzle, a 0.6 nozzle this time, and I'll see how that looks. So upon further testing, the only super good print that I got out of this was this owl all right now this owl when it did come out 
came out beautiful. I mean, this thing is flawless, you guys. There's nothing wrong with this thing. The detail, you got all the details. There's no stringing, nothing. I mean, this came out as good as any print. The only time I had problems is when I was printing with um, my Stormtrooper. Now, I know the files are good because I've tested these same files on my CR-10 S4. Now, I do have to note that when I started printing the Stormtrooper, the SD card, for some reason, needed to be reformatted. And so it erased the OWL file. So I couldn't print this again because I had to completely wipe the entire SD card. But I'm testing one again right now. And I'll give an update with that later as I test and I print more on the Anacubic Cobra Go. But um, I do need to get this video out soon because the Cobra Go has a release date. And I want to get my thoughts on it as soon as that thing comes out. Um, I'm going to chalk up the failed um, Stormtrooper tr prints to uh, Fuser Error. It just had some weird lines. It was over extruding. There are parts of it. Of, of the print that were good but overall I'm pretty sure it's my settings because the settings that I used for the stormtrooper were not the same settings as the owl so until I get those right I can't really say that it's the machine so if I was to rate this machine it'd be a good eight and a half nine out of ten it's a great machine it's very small it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's it prints really really well now, when I printed the dragon, aside from the string, the dragon did come out great. This thing came out nice. If, if it not for the stringing, this thing would come out beautifully. Now, the stringing was my, my, was my fault. I didn't adjust the retraction settings, which is weird because I used the same settings on this as the other stormtroopers. But this came out nicer aside, again, from the stringing. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that but hopefully later on as we go I'll do another review video of the Cobra Go alright guys so those are my thoughts on the Anycubic Cobra Go it is a good machine again it's a good entry size 3d printer for 200 bucks you can't go wrong with it is it going to kill the Ender 3 I don't think so I think the Ender 3 is gonna live on I think it's gonna be just as good as the Ender 3 better Mm, not sure so that's it I hope I was able to help you guys make an informed decision whether to buy this printer or not overall I do like it and I'll catch you guys in the next video